And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal and today unboxing show and it's time for some more unboxing because it's an unboxing show. Now this arrived today with a really cool <laughs> Homer Simpson fragile um, thing in here. Uh, let's open it up. All right, now you probably already know from the title of this video that this is a parts guitar that I'm putting together that just arrived. Uh, now, this is, if you follow uh, us on Instagram, you would have probably seen a couple of reels about this already, but uh, I'm very, very excited about this. Uh, so far, it all looks like this. I just don't want things to fall. Uh, very well packed. So I believe it starts off with this. Let's get this out of the box. Very well packed. Came from the USA um, to here in Australia. Very quickly actually too. Now this has got a bit of heft to it. And uh, I know these things have a bit of heft to it, a bit of weight. Because I have another guitar with a neck like this, or similar neck like this. And these are, if they ever make a Muso, version of Cluedo, they get Cluedo. They should include aluminium guitar necks as a, you know, murder weapon. It was murdered in the studio with the aluminium neck. Um, now this, it's very shiny. Uh, is an aluminium, a very shiny aluminium neck. And you can see the light and you can see everything. A very shiny aluminium neck. Oh, nice feel. It's a bit bigger than the other one, a bit wider anyway. Uh, from Robot Graves. Uh, very cool, aluminium neck. Hang on, let's put this down here for now. Um, oh, this. Now this is something I'm really looking forward to. This is the, the third, again, by Robot Graves. Uh, Robot Graves? Robot Graves, yeah, Robot Graves. Uh, here you go, robotgraves.com. And it is the third, which is the tunable harmonic resonance device. So it's basically, as soon as I saw this, that, that these guys made this, I said, I need one. And I have one now. Uh, let's open this later once I don't have this in my lap. It's basically a tunable tailpiece for like jazz master style guitar, whether you have the strings behind the bridge. Um, and this guitar was basically built around that neck and that bridge, uh, this guitar body that is in here. So let's get into this. Uh, I just want to say a big, 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 big thank you to Gary for packing this amazingly and putting all the time he's put into this, uh, time and effort is put into this. Um, you make sure if you watch this, uh, and if you like this guitar, or oh, well, the body, uh, I still got to put it all together and then see what it's like. But um, go and follow um, Parts Caster Concierge on Instagram. Uh, and check out some of his stuff. He makes amazing uh, parts for guitars. And if you want to build a parts guitar, which I highly recommend to any, everyone because it is a really cool thing to do, um, go and check him out. Now, this is the body. Let's, let's rip it open together on this side. I've seen pictures of it, and if you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen pictures of it too, but... Um, ooh. Ooh, that woody smell. Ooh, that's lo that feels lovely. Okay. <laughs> now this is a beast! Look at this thing! So this is a non-reverse fiber with some extra contours shape guitar made out of walnut with, I think a maple strip in the center with an extra, extra big cavity here for extra resonance for the strings. Now let's do this. Actually, Eric, let's check this first out a bit more. Now also the pickup, it's going to be single pickup. The pickup goes in here, which is going to be a Mr. Glynn's, I think Drake is what it's called, Mr. Glynn pickups. Um, it's sort of uh, uh, for low tuning because this is going to be a kind of a baritone style guitar but with a standard neck so uh, C or B I'm going to tune it to we'll see um, it'll have this one humbucker 
then it'll have a mastery bridge here and then have another pickup behind a bridge specifically for um for the uh, uh the third bridge for the strings the resonant strings behind the bridge um and yeah it's a rear mounted humbucker so uh from the front you don't see any other bits you just it looks nice this is beautiful it feels fantastic so this is just um oiled and waxed i think so it's just uh yeah a totally natural finish it smells like new new wood smell like new furniture new wood smell oh that smells fantastic and it looks amazing so this is gonna get that neck on it well like that and uh, Master Bridge and a third tailpiece. But now, let's have a quick look. On, let's put this back down carefully. Now, let's open this up. So this is uh, sort of what started the whole thing because of this, I wanted to build another guitar. Uh, oh, let's not make things fall out. Now, what's in here? It comes with, I'm guessing a polishing cloth for the uh, very high gloss aluminum neck. Uh, or aluminum for your uh, North American uh, persuaded people. Uh, he's already, Gary's even gone as far as making me a wiring harness for it. Now, what I wanted to do with this, it's a volume control for the main pickup, the humbucker. Um, volume control for the humbucker, no tone. And then there's just a blend switch to blend the other pickup in. So you can have only little of it, none of it, or lots of it. Uh, but all, that pickup is always on and you can just blend that in uh, and just uh, the jack. So it's, it's, I wanted to keep it really simple and really sleek. So he made, even went as far as making a wiring harness for me. Polishing cloth, wiring harness. We have, I'm guessing all the screws and everything for, looks like for the, the third and for the neck. Uh, we have, a past ca part caster concierge neck plate. Um, we have parts caster concierge, concierge stickers. We have a uh, robot graves industries, I think is what the eyes for sticker. And we have a manual for the third. I'm so looking forward to this. I think this is going to be amazing. I love all the, I love, if you watch any of the videos, I always play with the strings behind the bridge on, on my Jazz Masters. Um, and to have something like this that actually is tunable is absolutely amazing. So this, I've never seen one of these in person yet either. So this very well packed thing Oh, this is serious too. I mean, that's, there's some weight to this. This is the third, the, I keep forgetting what it actually stands for, the tunable harmonic resonance device, uh, third. So basically what you do is, for people that don't know, um, this, it usually fits into any uh, Jazzmaster cavity, but Gary made an especially big one for this cavity. So it has extra resonance. This goes in here, uh, and then you have the, the bridges up here and now with these, oh, actually, sorry, it goes the wrong way around, the wrong way around, it goes here. <laughs> and then, um, these are little saddles that you can tune the strings behind the bridge. So the strings in front of the bridge are in tune. You just use this to move, uh, I guess the string, where the string sits, the, the string goes through here and then goes on this and you can move it where it sits and you can tune it. So you can tune it to be a, a scale or something or specific resonant notes that work with the, the, um, the tuning of the guitar, which is really, really, really cool. So that will go on here. Uh, there's the holes for it like this. That will sit on here. 
And I think that was also kind of contoured. He contoured the guitar so it fits, it moved a bit. So it fits really nicely. I don't want to scratch it. So it fits really nicely into here. Uh, the neck, the super, super shiny neck will go on here. Uh, and then the Mr. Glenn's Drake pickup and one of the Mr. Glenn's, um, I think it's Jaguar style pickup will go into here. The wiring will go into there. And yeah, uh, and if you wanna uh, find out more about this, um, you know, when it's all put together, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, Cause I will, once it's all put together, the, the mastery bridge that I ordered from here in Australia was meant to arrive today. The tracking said it was meant to arrive today, but the, the postman has already be, been and it hasn't arrived. So uh, it's Friday today. So I guess it won't come till Monday now, uh, but I'll put it all together. Cause I think with the pickups being re-mounted, I can even put the strings and everything together and then just whack, the, I guess the, this pickup isn't rear mounted, that's front mounted. So I might not put strings on it yet, but maybe I'll put strings on it and just play it acoustically. But uh, if you want to find out more about this guitar and see it more, then subscribe to our channel, uh, hit the notification bell, give us a like. Um, yes, this is my new aluminium, my second aluminium neck guitar. There's one back here, I don't know if you can see it. There's the Doom Master, I call it the Doom Master, which has a Bagley's guitar neck on it and a Vander guitar's body. Uh, but this is going to be really interesting. It's going to be something quite different with this third tailpiece, which I'm very, very much looking forward to trying. Built very well. This is some serious, this is heavy. Not as heavy as the neck, but it's heavy. So big thank you once again, Parts Master Concierge Gary for being absolutely awesome. Robert Graves, um, Mr. Glynn's, they haven't arrived, it hasn't arrived as a pickup, but they'll come. Um, Please make sure, all the links below, check out Parts, Master, Parts, Master Concierge, Parts Caster Concierge um, on uh, Instagram. I'll put the links down below. Uh, Robot Graves on Instagram, Mr. Glenn on Instagram, us on Instagram. Uh, yeah, and follow us if you want updates uh, with this guitar. So thank you so much once again to everyone involved. Thank you to you watching and see you in the next one. Bye.